show you how you can know if your turbo is repairable or not. Okay, so um, the shaft and turbine wheel assembly, which is this part, I'm going to go ahead and take off the compressor if I can get it. Okay, here's the compressor. We're going to talk about that next. Okay, so here is the shaft and turbine. Here's the shaft with the turbine. All right, so what you're going to be wanting to look for is the first thing you're going to want to look at these where the bearings lay right here. All right, and you're going to run, you're going to feel just a little bit of grit on there, um, but you don't want it where it's turning purple or blue because then it actually forged the shaft itself and then it's no good. Um, right here also is where another bearing, uh, journal bearing will float. Um, also another place you want to look at is right here where the piston ring goes in. Um, if it's all pretty much real hot looking like blue, pink, red and uh, you actually see some of the ring still stuck in there or you actually see the width of this it got kinda out of whack then that's no good either. Another key is, is to look at this little line right here right before the turbine itself. Um, I've had a turbine where it actually kinda scraped it all the way down and that's just gonna let oil it's not gonna sit properly. Right here you're gonna wanna look at the blades okay on the outsides. If any blades are, are chunked up or missing or any pieces are roughed up right here on any of these blades, it's done. I mean, there's no repairing it. Um, you can also look at on the exhaust housing where this part goes inside and look inside there and see if it's scraped along the edges. Um, I'll cover that on the last point. Now we're going to look at the uh, compressor assembly. Uh, same thing with the turbine. You're going to check out the blades right here. If they have any nicks, like um, pretty bad nicks, you're going to actually look inside the turbine, uh, the compressor side, the coal side housing, and it'll show if it's scraped. If it's scraped at all, it's done. So if you're not getting any scrapage and you look right here and these blades are real nice like this one, I mean it's got some real nice blades, then it's okay. Then, it, then it's be able to be rebuilt. Another factor to look at is when you're looking at the uh, bearing housing or the turbo, the, the turbine core, the turbo core, um, you're going to look inside, I don't know if you guys can see it very well, but uh, you're going to look right inside here where the bearing uh, would sit. If it's, if the bearing sits in there and the bearing can wobble around, it's, it's pretty much done. You can replace the cores on eBay for, I believe, uh, 50 and change shipped with a Garrett so and there uh, that's with the non water cooled Okay, so yeah, you're gonna look in there and if that's pretty ate up where the bearings real loose then that's done too um, Pretty much for both sides another thing to look at is the clips if you can see I'm Trying to see what you guys are seeing these clips right in here um, If the bearings have too much in and out shaft play like this kind of shaft play not necessarily the up and down shaft play but the in and out shaft play where you would grab it and you'd move it in and out um, check out these clips uh, they could have got worn out or the bearings could have got worn out themselves but usually the clips are good I used to, you actually take the top clips out leave the bottom ones in on either side and then drop my bearings in and then replace them I really never I keep the original Garrett clips because you can look at them and if they're not damaged then reuse them even when you get the rebuild kit they they actually fit better than the rebuild kit okay so that takes care of the uh, bearing housing another part you're going to want to look at on the compressor back plate is right here where the oil deflector goes and here's the oil deflector it looks just like this um, basically has an oil deflector ring it's like a piston ring um, seals it up and uh, when it goes on there, just like this, it's going to spin around on the ring. Well, sometimes it'll get really ate up really bad. And it's going to have a little bit of lines, but I like to take steel wool and rub it around there. And they give you a new part in the rebuild kit also, along with a new piston ring that you got to put on there. All right, now I promised that I would uh, show you guys what I was talking about on the compressor and the turbine wheel, or the turbine on the rubbing 
Okay, so here is your compressor housing. Might have to back out the camera just a little bit. Okay, so here's your compressor housing. Now, here is the uh, compressor itself. Um, the compressor, the wheel's not on it right now. I took it off. And basically, it's going to go in here. I'll give you a better idea. I'll shove it on here. All right, so this is the compressor and the turbine and the turbine shaft all in one piece. So basically, this is how it works inside the turbo. It's spinning. If you look inside here and any of these blades made a ring, a line inside here, it's done. That's what I was talking about if they touch. Inside here, you're going to actually see like a nasty line. Now this one doesn't have one because the blades never touch. But if it ever does, it's done. The turbo's done. Everything's done. I mean, you can salvage the compress. Well, not even the compressor wheel. If it's scraped it too bad, it's done because those are there's certain air calculations in there that have to be met in order to build proper boost. Um, okay, so there that was the uh, compressor cold side. Now we're going to be looking at the hot side turbine housing, and this is the hot side on a Garrett. Now this is a Garrett T60, it's an AR60 on the compressor side and a 63 trim on the turbine side, which is the hot side. Alright, so the, what we're going to be looking at here is same thing. These blades can never touch, so a telltale sign of that is going to be when your turbine is in there like this. It's going to be spinning. You're going to look inside. You can even pretty much, well, you got to look on the opposite side of the exhaust. And you're going to look down in here, right in here, guys. And if it's scraped at all, then that's it. It's done. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick uh, demonstration on what you need to look for to see if your turbo is rebuildable. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and please subscribe. I do all kinds of videos like this, and hope to see you guys again.